you make church no. in center of evil? Why? Look. Why? Church For the fact that it's a new baby, at least you should have heard me. You should have just given me a listening. Just a little. Just small. No. Do you know the amount of people I'm owing? What's up, my people? It's your favorite ball. I'm not going. I'm writing once again with on down. Go get my time. On my left here, I get one lady. She said she just put to bed and there's a problem in her church. She contacted me and I asked her to come. Madam, welcome. Good evening. Guys, I beg you help me. Share my video. Watch my video. Subscribe. Even if it's possible, follow. See, comment. I tell you what I beg you. I beg, comment your thoughts on the videos. Auntie, what's the name? My name is Amaka. Madam Amaka? Yes. Uh, you said you have a problem in your church. Yes. Please, can you please tell my audience? Okay. The thing is, I... I just got married last year, so I I delivered of a bouncing baby boy. Mm, congrats, well done. Congratulations. Just two weeks ago, thank you. Okay, two weeks ago. So now the church I attend is quite different from the one my my husband attends and I just okay, fine. He decided that we should dedicate our child in his church. Which is the right way to go? Yeah, it's a fact. But then I it didn't it did not sit well with me in the first place, but then it's marriage and i decided to respect my husband to the core okay and then i decided to go to his church to dedicate my child but before then i on a normal before you dedicate a new being someone that you brought to this world you you spend like it's something good it's 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 about joy and it's it's of life so i decided to spend a whole lot of money planning an occasion and i know i spent extravagantly like i spent a whole lot i planned an occasion i cooked and i invited a lot of big friends of mine not for me to get to the church and boom the pastor told me there is a policy guiding their church and that policy doesn't just sit well with me it, it actually the policy actually just killed all my plans and of which it made the food i prepared i couldn't make use of it like it cancelled my child's dedication because of that policy i i wouldn't know but then I asked my husband of this policy. The pastor has he kept on emphasizing, haven't you been coming to church? I have I always announced this, announced that. But then my husband said he has never heard of it. Like he has never heard of that policy in the church. Then why is it? And facts being, okay, fine. The policy stands. After every child's dedication for a newborn baby, you create a new bank account and you deposit 250,000 euros. That's what the church does but boom okay fine i i have yes i know 250k will enter my account so i decided to spend beyond that just to welcome my new baby and boom everything was cancelled most of the items i used in preparing that food was on credit and i have pleaded with him i have i have begged i have i i know i have cried like i i know how i at a, at a, at a point i i felt wickedness started from the church obviously for the fact like this is wickedness in the highest order for the fact that i i a woman that carried a child i i cried he told me to go back and meet the church council i should go auntie, back and auntie auntie take it easy take it easy okay you mean the pastor refused to dedicate the child yes that's a one policy from nowhere that's that's that's, that's my and point. you are owing you are in debt a lot your of debt. baby has not been dedicated he has not been dedicated. everything pending guys Okay, see, um, you have the pastor's contact, right? Yes, I do. Okay, this is what we do. Okay. Bring him up. Uh, give me his number. I'll call him. I want to know from him All why. Right. Guys, no time to waste. Let's go. Uh, Madam Amaka, yes. we have called Pastor already. He's on his way. I and my team, we place a call across to him. You said he blocked your number, right? Yes, he did. He blocked you. He blocked me. <laughs> pastor, when they block member, number. Now, wait with that. Okay, see. What I'll do is this, eh? That policy we made pastor refuse to dedicate your child. What's the policy? At this point here, yeah, I, I wouldn't want that policy to come from me. Mm. When he comes here, yeah, let him use his mouth to say the rubbish, the God-forsaken policy fabricated in a place where we serve God. No, 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 come where down. There is you will not call what pastor said rubbish now. This is a man of God. As, as a matter of fact, that policy is 
actually tantarash. It doesn't work. It doesn't sit well. Okay. This is a mm. child, an innocent being we are talking about. When he comes, he should. If he can confidently say it before you, then I will know he doesn't have conscience. And we know that wickedness was rooted from the church. There is nothing you want to tell me. That ah. is just a fact. Okay. If he comes here and says it with his mouth, I will know that the root of all evil is our church. Okay, see from what our mind. Okay, see what we do. Hmm. Let's wait for him to get here. It's okay. He said he's on his way already. Let's wait for him to get here so that we can try this matter once and for all. You get me? Let's just wait for him. I think that's incoming. That, that's Pastor Benjamin? Yes, that's him. That's him coming. That's Pastor Benjamin? Yes. yes Good day, sir. Pastor, well done, sir. God bless you. Well done, sir. Yes, God bless you. Ah, um, Pastor, well done. Ah, ah. Now yeah. you be the pastor of that big church which they talk about. Oh, you were the one that called me. Yes, sir. But yes. you know her now. Yes, I'm Pastor Benjamin. I know her. Madam, greet your pastor. Mm. Good evening. Mm. Pastor, yeah. sorry, um, I don't know what's happening. I have a hiccup. I don't know. Yes. But uh, it's a situation that needs to be solved. And I must solve this problem before I get out of here. Okay. This lady gave birth to a bouncing baby boy, right? Yes. She carried Berlin for nine months. God helped her. Yes, I understand. God assisted her. She delivered like the Hebrew woman. Who was mentioned in the Bible that they deliver safe and sound without stress and labor? Okay, okay. God has done his part. Yes. Now she and her husband said, Ah, let's go to your church to dedicate the child back to God. Who gave us the child? She said, Your church refused to dedicate the child that they brought to the church. Why? Oh, oh. Because of, sorry, a policy. Yes, yes. You, you have to understand that in every organization, a church, and every other places, there are policies and there are rules. And we need to follow those rules. In my church, uh -huh. in my church, it wasn't me that started it. My father was the general overseer of the church. I took over from my father. Okay. Yes. So there was a policy there before I was even... Pastor, before you talk, see, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's a camera here, Pastor. Before you proceed, I just want to know there's a camera here. I want to understand that there's a camera here. You get me? Yes. This woman is very, very much aggrieved. She said, according to her, that she spent money to cook food, invited guests of honor, even dedicated, even decorated your church. That also. She decorated, she spent money to decorate the church for the occasion. Now, wait, keep policy aside. I want to ask you a question, Pastor. When they went to dedicate Jesus Christ in the church, was there in the, in the, in the synagogue, was there any policy uh, or, like that? In the Bible, those were in those days. Now, nowadays, in this world, you know what the world has turned into. You, you, you need to understand the world has turned into something else. You know, people going to do all sorts of things, having children for other people, giving it to their husbands, and all that. Look, let me. I don't know if she told you about the policy. It's a simple policy when you are coming to dedicate your child in my church, you come with a DNA result, and that is all a DNA result to prove that you are the biological parents of that child. It's simple as that. What is that? What is that deal? Pastor, madam, are you aware of this exact policy? You refuse to mention it. I am not. You are not aware of the exact not. policy. My husband is not. I am not. But your, your husband is a member of the church. He has been in that church for years now. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. My husband Pastor, I, wa I want to know something. Pastor, I be novice. Hello, Pastor. Our husband is a member of the church. Yes. If, wait. Was there no, you not see proof say this woman ain't get the picking? Actually, this is, the, this is the first time I'm seeing her. It's her husband. This is the first time that, um, that is, when she came to the KD child, was the first time I saw her. Her husband is a member of my church. With my, you know, notice, she's a member of another church. So she just came to dedicate her child in my church. And that is the first time. You know, so I can't just, and it's a policy. Even those that mm. are in the church for years that I know, they do, they do that the same thing. It's simple. So our husband should be aware. And perhaps we announce this thing every Sunday. So it's not new. Everybody around knows it. It's a big church. Pastor. And we would like to know real our image. Pastor. According to my understanding, the reason for dedication is so that they can hand over the child back to God. Yes. So God can be in charge of that child's life. Yes. Formally. It's like a formal 
Yes. Something that is supposed to happen, but it's not compulsory. But yes. it's just like a formal celebration. Yes, it's a formal celebration. Now, let me ask a question. By refusing to dedicate that child because of one DNA result or the other, have you not lost, have you not made God to lose his soul? No, 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 no. It's not like that. You know, there are a lot of atrocities in the world these days. You know, and I won't like to be a particular on that. You know, I don't want to be a particular of that. You know, a slight thing can make you go to hell. Just a little mistake. And God doesn't care if you are, know it or you don't know it. So we on our side, we are trying to be very careful. <laughs> you know, we all are running every million race. Every race? Yes, yeah, so we are trying to be careful. Let me ask a question, Pastor, not this. I'm not don't be angry. I want to ask you a question. No. This question just popped into my mind right now. Okay. Are we all not the children of God? We all are children of God. So, if, for example, another person comes to dedicate another child, another person's child to God, is, is that child not, does that child not actually belong to God? No. No, you are not getting the point. You are not getting the point. You are not getting the point. We all are children of God. Okay. But at the same time, we all are children of God. But not everybody that are called children of God that will go to heaven. Some are still going to hell. Now, I know you understand my point now. We all are children of God, but some of us still uh, go to now hell. Now I know what you do, Pastor. Now I know what you do, Pastor. Pastor, continue. You see? So, we are just on our own path following policies. Who created those policies? It was my father. Your father? Yes. Who is a man? Yes, he's a man. So, do you mean your father's policy now supersedes God's policy? No. That is the policy, and it was uh, from a revelation. It was a prophetic revelation. You no. see? That they must collect DNA results yes, from every child, from yes, the parents. Yes. Pastor, do you know how much your DNA results? Look, you won't understand. These things have happened before. You know, so we don't want to repeat the same mistake. That is it. These things happen, has happened before. And I know in this present world, you have seen a lot of things. People giving birth, people stealing children, a lot of things. So we are trying to, you know, we don't want to get ourselves involved. And perhaps she should be aware before now. We used to announce these things every day in church. Even when... Pastor, sorry, not very soon. I bet Madame Conclusa. This dedication is enshrined in the Bible, right? Yes. It's enshrined in the Bible. Yes. Even Jesus that was dedicated. Yes. Is there, well, I'm, I'm surprised. Is there, why will you create a policy that would... That, that, that would limit people. Okay, now let's say I'm a young man. I just came up in life. And I got married. And I gave her to a baby. But I don't have money for DNA result. Does that mean that I cannot no. give I cannot give my shot that to is, God? Like I said, we're a big church. We're a big church. If you don't have money, you come to the church and you explain. And we look for a way to you know do that. We have doctors ah. in the church and all. Ah, madam, you don't finish that. Okay. Pastor, yeah, that's, why that's, said, that is. that's why I said the thing is coming okay. from our own our you husband. Have, you have you said you have you have doctors in the we church. We have doctors in the church and we are, yes. Can I ask you a very simple question? You are free. What is grace? What is grace? I believe grace is the ability for God to make a way, open a door where there's no door. Be. Yes. After all the cry, I cry. After all the pleading. No. You couldn't even look into it for the fact that I spent a lot of money. Preparing for my child's dedication. You couldn't even say, okay. And she borrowed those money, oh. After the dedication, we will run DNA test. Is it not done? No, no, Is it no, not no, done? No, 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 no. Why will we make no, church no. a center of evil? Why? Look, Why? For the fact that it's a new baby. At least you should have had me. You should have just given me a listening. Just a little. Just small. No. Do you know the amount of people I'm owing? Look, she would have risen, but she said she wants to do the dedication before the uh, dna test and that is not how we do things i know she came with crowd and that is not my fault neither is it from others she wanted an elaborate occasion madam look it, you shouldn't go out of your will to do um occasions you went to all depth just because of dedication mm -hmm. you okay after eating those people will go their way okay. or is it because you heard that we are giving two hundred and fifty thousand? No, things are not done that way. Things are not done that way. Mm, not done Pastor, that way. novice. So you are telling me that, madam, please don't be, don't be, don't be emotional about this issue. I know it's your shy. Understand? I know it's your responsibility to dedicate the shy to God. Pastor, it don't happen. It don't happen. Yes. What I want to beg from you is this: eh? they don't have the money currently to do the DNA test. 
and I also said there is a supplementary for that. Thank you. Then he said to now, Madam, see, what we do is this. Uh, it's simple. I know you are angry. You are frustrated. But I want to beg you. Madam, I want to beg you. Hello? Yeah. We are here for peace, not for war. Peace. You are all children of God. I want to beg you. Now that you have said that there is a way out, that the church can handle the DNA, is that not so? Yes. I want to speak the grammar well. Yes. You say church can assist her to run the DNA? Yes, DNA. of course. It's simple now. Nah. Yes, Madam, see, that more run this way. You come with them, more go. See the elders in the church, talk to them to understand that yes, you don't have the money for the DNA. Let's walk towards that. The money I've spent, I don't, I don't, no, I no, 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 no. Okay, okay, now. okay. It has spoiled. Wait, wait, madam. I will lie, madam, will I pay back? Madam, wait, madam, wait. But the 250k still comes on board, right? After the, the, uh, the death. Simple! Okay, how much are you owing, madam? How much are you owing? I'm owing about 200,000. Okay, now, is the 250k comes, I don't need to settle that. It can settle that now. What I want to beg you for is there's nothing calling people again. There's nothing inviting people again. They have already they were there before. Yes. We don't need them anymore. Understand? And Let's just go. She has told me about this money issue. I told her that I'm not the only signatory to that account. You understand? It's not one person. And perhaps there are elders that are there. They were there before me. And you know, I can't just go spend church money on my own. I know. Alright, alright. Uh, yeah, yeah. Pastor C. I want to beg you, can we move the dedication to this Sunday? If the, we can achieve the number one, which is the DNA. Can we move it? It's this Sunday? Yeah. Okay, let's go now. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Madam, move the go.